Hello again, guys. Today we're building a miniature pizza oven. Yippee! Mini oven. Let's experiment with small sizes. Right. Today everything will be mini sized. First, we should make mortar for the bricks. Can't we just put them on one another? <laughs> of course not. It's not enough because if I do this, it'll fall. Not a very reliable oven, do you agree? Yeah, you're right. So mix the mortar really well. I'm going to check how it came out. We just take a little bit of mortar. It's better to use gloves not to get dirty. And now we connect the two bricks. Oh, look! It's leaking! We need to wipe it quick! Don't worry, Sammy. One move, whoosh! And it's clean. Done. Let's do the same with the other bricks. We need to put four bricks in length and four brick rows in height. Here's the last one. Now we'll see what the first row looks like. Two! This one seems broken. Can we use it? That's just what we need, Sammy. In the second and fourth rows, there will be half bricks on the edges. To make walls more secure, we don't put one brick directly on another, but one on two of them. See? Oh, now I see. I didn't know that, did you guys? Sue, so, you need some help. I understand how to lay bricks. Sure, together it's more fun <laughs> and faster. Look how fast we made it. That's what I call teamwork. We built two walls for our oven already. Guys, it's way more fun to make crafts with friends. Call them over and build together. So, it seems I got a little dirty. Do we have a napkin? Guys, now we're going to make a section for wooden chips. First, we attach one wall. Then the second on another side. Press a little, done. Why do we need styrofoam? It can easily break. We're making a base. Later, we'll pour some cement inside to make it solid. Oh, what to do? I can't figure it out. Oh. What's wrong, Sammy? You look troubled. I've been thinking for five minutes already. What pizza filling should we make? So that's your issue. Hmm. I vote for pepperoni. I love its smell. Mm. Pepperoni! Good. Phew! Now I have nothing to worry about. And lots of tomato sauce. What? I made the dough. What are you doing, Sue? Good job, Sammy. I'm making a frame for our base. Can you prepare the cement if you're not busy? Main thing is not to confuse the cement and grout mixture. Will do. The frame is almost ready. I just need to secure the intersections with little pieces of wire. This way they go into the styrofoam so easily. Look out! Oh, Sue, we need to fill it fast or the cement will set. Oh, not that fast, Sammy. It takes several hours for cement to set. Oh, my feta. So long. <laughs> Look, we need to pour all of the mixture into the basement. Don't leave a drop. I'm watching you. There's a little more. Thanks, my strict supervisor. Now let's spread the mixture with a trowel. This way. I feel like a real builder. Oh, no. We ruined everything, right? Look, it's overflowing. <laughs> it's okay, Sammy. We need these walls to shape our cement. When the cement sets, we'll get rid of them. It's time to smoothen out the surface. Can you do it? All right. Okay, so we put the level at one edge and whoosh, whoosh, move it towards the other. Good job, partner. Right, guys? Finishing touches. How did it go, Sam? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Great. Let's leave the cement to set. We'll be back soon. Stay in touch. Guys, when the cement sets, you can take the styrofoam off. It's easy. That's it. But now the base looks, well, not very pretty. That's why I prepared this. Sue, I also made the mortar. Perfect, Sammy. Let's spread some mortar for the first row. Isn't it cool that we didn't give this set away for a garage sale? Sammy, tell me the truth. Did you decide to make an oven spontaneously? It wasn't a long-term plan, was it? Well, maybe, but aren't we having fun? <laughs> yeah, hard to disagree. Guys, are you having fun with us? Give this video a thumbs up if you are. There's too much mortar, and the brickboards are set unevenly. Hmm, you're right. This won't do. We need to figure out how to fix it. Oh, Sue, I've got an idea. Try to fix them with a hammer. 
Perfect! This will make them look neat. Here, we're going to make the same walls as below. There will be three rows instead of four. Yay! I like laying bricks. The next row is mine. Guys, here we need the same frame as we did for the lower level. Let's move on to the next step. Follow me! Looks great! But these bits of wire shouldn't stick out this way. We'll cut them with pliers. Here we go! Be careful with this step, guys. Now we're gonna build walls again! Hey, oh, the great Tibidaba! We didn't secure these bricks on purpose. I'll show you why. We'll make a frame here instead. At the moment, it all looks a little dirty. <laughs> Don't forget to get rid of the excess mortar with a trowel. This way. Sammy, where are you? I have a task for you. I just finished putting pepperoni on the pizza. What must I do? I'm ready! We need to cover it all with tiny bricks. Beautifully as you do it. Oh, I can do that. <clears throat> all right, here's a workshop from Sam the Builder. Put one brick horizontally, then another one right next to it vertically. Continue until you fill the whole space. At the end, you should praise yourself. You're amazing. <laughs> Very informative, Sammy. I think I'll sign up for your next workshop. We're going to attach bricks following the cylinder shape. This way, we'll make an oval roof. Two, let's compete in speed. Who will reach the top first? Deal, let's see who's a better master. Who do you support, guys? Write the name of the winner in the comments. Let's go! And the winner is Sammy! Yeah! And on this happy note, we're moving on to the final stage. Guys, we're going to finish soon. The main stage is ahead of us. Pizza baking! Look how yummy it is. Makes your mouth water. The last brick. Done. Sammy, can you guess what we're missing? Uh, I think I can. We need a chimney. Bingo. Let's build it. <sighs> tisk, tisk. Not good. I better finish this first. Okay, catch up. By the way, do you remember who enters your home through the chimney? Santa Claus. He'll be bringing us presents. I'm curious if he could fit into this tiny chimney. <laughs> Of course! He's become small. He's a magician. You know I'm a magician too, right? That's my superpower. How's it going, Sammy? Ugh, I just do everything very fast. What do you say, Sue? I like it. The oven is so small and cute. We only need to apply the grout. And pizza's waiting for us. Pizza! Yeah! Be careful! It's leaking already! Wipe off the excess. Thank you, right on time. This way we'll cover all the junctures. I can speed up time too, by the way. I saw how Sue did it on the computer. Let's check the final result. And now we'll show you how to bake the tastiest pizza from Sam the Chef. Oh, crunchy crust and sweet pepperoni. What else can you dream of? Beautiful. I call the first piece. Sammy, I never thought I'd say this, but I can eat half of a pizza at once. Guys, I hope you liked our craft today. Sue and I loved it. Thanks for being with us, friends. Till the next video. Mmm, it's truly very delicious. Bye-bye, guys! Do -do -do -do. Hi, everyone! Sue, Bye -bye. ready to fire it up? We're making a new brick oven. Hi, guys. Yes, it's gonna be hot so we need a heat-resistant mat. 
Sammy's going to taste a new meal cooked on a fire. I won't just taste it, I'll cook it myself. Well, did you know that the marinade is half the battle when you roast chicken? Marinade? Isn't roasted chicken tasty by itself? You really think that the smell and the golden crust appear just like that? Well, I thought so. How do you make a marinade for chicken? Well, there's lots of ways. It depends on what you like. I like chocolate. Can we make a chocolate marinade? Um, I'm not sure that chocolate will do. Although it is used in the most unexpected dishes. <laughs> like? Well, for example, it's used as a sauce for bacon or fish. I still like classic sweet chocolate more, Sue. I'm gonna go find recipes for my chicken. Let me remind you that we're building using a special technology. Checkerboard placement of the bricks. And here we'll put half a brick to make it look neat. Let's remove the extra concrete with a small trowel. This way. Now let's even out the walls before the concrete sets. It will make the oven sturdy. Mmm, I got hungry too while talking about chicken. I hope Sam has already chosen the recipe. Almost every time we lay bricks, we use cement. This chicken oven is not an exception. Let's make a special interlayer. If there's cement, there's wire. It will strengthen the structure. Sammy! Yes, Sue! Something urgent! I need your help. Watch closely. We need to make pieces like this. Can you do it? Easy peasy. Be careful with the pliers. By the way, I chose the marinade. I'll tell you later. Fine. While Sam's working with the wire, I'm going to make several more pieces. Voila! Sue, all done. Can I set them on the bricks? Go on. Watch me. C -c -c creativity Oh, a contest. Now you watch me. Magic outside of Hogwarts. <laughs> now let's strengthen the structure with these loops. Sammy, can you tell us about the marinade while I'm doing this? It's soy sauce, Sue. That's your whole intrigue? <laughs> I had to think if I should share my recipe with you or not. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like Sam's idea for the marinade. May I also recommend a recipe for a good mood? It's simple. <clears throat> First, subscribe to the channel. Second, hit the bell button. All the buttons are below the video. Wait for a notification, open a new video, and watch it! New craft is ready for consumption. Watch and enjoy. Mmm, yummy. I mean, your recipe is really good, Sammy. Anyway, I just poured the cement. Let's spread it evenly. According to the recipe, we need to let it set. Come on, I'll show you the cool chicken recipe I came up with. Ooh, intriguing. Done. The cement slab has set. Let's remove all the extra parts. By the way, we'll need the cement again, but later. Now let's take care of this slab. All right. We also need to cut the extra wire down there for aesthetics. Aesthetics? Are you decorating without me? <sighs> no, Sammy. I'm just making the oven look neater. We should keep constructing. Chicken is waiting to be roasted. You're right. Come on. Let's keep working with the bricks. We need to make the perimeter walls of the oven. Hey, Sue, how is Samantha? You talked on the phone for so long. Oh, she's doing great. Samantha's going camping in the mountains. They'll stay overnight. Oh, did you warn her there'll be bears in the forest? <laughs> yes, Sammy, she knows the forest can be dangerous. But she also knows all of the precautionary measures. Plus, she'll be with a professional guide. I should call her to wish her luck and uh, not be afraid of bears. Great idea. Shall we add some magic? Now let's even out the walls and move to the next step of the construction. Here's a mold. A layer of cement. Wire to make it sturdy. And another layer of cement. Set the timer and wait until the cement sets. Da -da -ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. Do you think it'll grow by itself? No, Susie, this won't do. You should build. <laughs> I know, Sammy. 
I needed that for better adhesion with this part. By the way, I made some marks according to where we're going to put the next layer of the oven. So, I just realized something. Buildings like cooking. That's an interesting thought. Why? You always have to mix something. Cement, for example. Then you need to lay bricks like cakes, layer by layer. Right, you should also bake bricks like cookies. How? Very simple. To make the brick solid, you need to bake it in a special oven. This is the method used for clay bricks. There's also bricks of sand and lime, but they're not baked. Are they boiled? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could say that. They're pressed and then steamed. Interesting. It really is like cooking. Yes. How's it going with your signature dish? It's going good. That's why I can talk to you a little bit. You can even help me build. Deal, but I will use my methods. Go on, the oven is at your disposal. Bricks, build city, boom! So, check this out. I can do some more magic. It's perfect. I can continue myself, but don't go too far. I'll need your magic powers later. Here's a tricky task. The roof of the oven is semicircular, so we'll use this auxiliary piece. We'll lay our bricks right on top of this plate. Let's also glue two pillars. Done. Now we can continue laying bricks. Spare no cement. Here you can use a little more of it than for the walls. Awesome, isn't it? We need special bricks for the sidewalls. Look! We will place a split into this slot. It will rotate. But shh, that's a secret. Sam thinks it's gonna be a simple oven, but I want it to be more special. It will have a real motor. The second wall has a special design. We'll set the motor right here. Let's moisten the wall a little. Now apply some concrete. There we go. We'll need this for attaching this metal piece. We'll need it for our rotating mechanism. We're going to put bricks around it to fix it from all sides. It's done! Now we need to grout the joints to make our oven shine. First, we should remove the extra cement with water and a brush. There we go. Clean it well, carefully. Don't rush. Perfect. Now let's make the joints white. You can use a simple syringe to make this process quicker and easier. This tool does the job really well. Don't miss a spot. And the last joints. There. Now take a sponge and carefully clean the extra grout off. It's all done! We can remove the auxiliary pieces. Here we go. I love motors. I'm always so happy to use them in our crafts. Let's connect the pieces with the help of wires this way. Perfect. Connect the battery. There. Our motor will spin this. Check out my cool costume! I'm King Triton! Oh, Mr. King Triton, may I have your trident? Yes, you may, but be careful. It can summon a whirlpool. Okay. I'll just place it here. By the way, be very careful with the sharp parts of this piece. Shiver me cheddars! I thought it was a gift of the sea, but it was just your piece. It's one of the most important pieces. You'll put the chicken on it. Got it! It's time to bring my chicken! <laughs> Wait a moment. Check this out. I hid the battery here in the back and this motor that will make the spit spin with the help of this rubber band. Done! Now you can bring your chicken.
I command you to cook! Are the coals hot enough? The chicken's on the trident! It's perfect! Guys, remember, don't mess around with fire. Ask an adult to help you. Sammy, where's your cook costume? Huh, I thought that King Triton was cooler. Maybe he likes to grill on his trident, too. Um, that's possible. Wow, it's spinning so cool! The chicken will roast from all sides. Mr. Chef, uh, I mean, King Triton, will you share the recipe with us? Ahem. Soy sauce, some salt, pepper, and paprika. Genius lies in simplicity. Wow. Shall we taste your chicken? Mmm. Yummy. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy your meal. 